Barbecue food for you. Today, showing everyone how to make a bacon bullseye. Let's get started. Here's the ingredients we're going to be using today. One female bacon or Canadian bacon whole. One normal pack of bacon. A little bit of brown sugar and some yellow mustard. Two boneless skinless chicken breasts. Four sausages. Some jalapeno peppers and onions. And some cheddar cheese. Let's get it all together. First thing we're going to do is take our chicken breast. Give it a light coating of oil and just brush it in. Next, take any type of rub that you like and give it a good coating on the chicken. We're using Three Eyes Barbecue Rub. This stuff is delicious. I recommend giving it a try. So, pat it in, flip it over, and get the other side. Now, take your chicken and just grill it up. Now we're going to quickly grill up the jalapenos too. What we have smoking away is a Mojo Brick Fire Cube. It's a great way to add smoke. Chicken and jalapenos all grilled up. Time to take them off. Looking good. Go get the rest of it together. Next, take your female bacon, flatten it out so it gets round. Take your knife, put it in nice and deep, and just make an X. Flip it over and get the other side. Just try and follow the same line. Go nice and deep. Make an X. Now, we're going to dice up the chicken jalapenos and a little bit of cheese, and we're going to stuff her in here. Got the chicken and jalapenos all cut up. Now, just start with a little bit of cheese, and just keep filling it in. Take a little bit of chicken, stuff her in. A little bit of jalapenos. Anything you want, really. And just keep going. Next, we're going to throw it on the rotisserie. So take your spit and drive it right through the middle. Don't worry about the chicken, cheese, and jalapenos. It'll all stay in there. And just slide it up so it's nice and snug. Get the other end on. And we'll go get it on the grill. Just got the bacon bullseye on the grill. Spinning around on the rotisserie, we're going to keep the temperature around 325 degrees. To add a little smoke, we're going to be using these mojo bricks. And we got a ready check all set up to keep our eye on the grill temperature. Shut the lid, we'll go get the rest of it together. Now we're going to get a sweet mustard glaze together. And we're going to use around half a cup brown sugar, three quarters of a cup of just yellow mustard. A little dash of some maple syrup and a couple shots of Worcestershire sauce. Mix that all together and we'll get it on the bacon roast. Bacon bullseye has been cooking for around half an hour now, starting to get a nice crust on it. So we're going to put on our sweet mustard glaze. All coated with that sweet mustard glaze. Gonna let this cook for another 10 or 15 minutes, and then we'll get the rest of it together. While the glaze is thickening up, start a bacon weave. It's real easy. Just go over, under, over, under. And just keep making your way across. Keep it nice and tight. Got our bacon weave all put together. Now just take your sausage, cut the tip off, and just squeeze it out of the casing. Once we get it all out, we'll spread it out and flatten it out. Got the sausage all spread out on that bacon weave. Now we're going to give it a coating of some red onions, 
We'll spread these out a little bit better. And our other roasted jalapeno pepper. Just got the roast off the barbecue after cooking for around 45 minutes. Stuffed with chicken, jalapeno peppers, and cheese. That sweet mustard glaze on the outside, now we're going to take it off the spit and wrap it in that bacon weave. To get it wrapped up, use the parchment paper and just roll it over while pulling the paper out the other end. Now, we'll go in, wrap it up with some butcher's twine. All wrapped up and looking great with three pieces of butcher's twine. Now for the sides here, you can go in and pin it down with some toothpicks. Just got the bacon bullseye back on the grill. What we did was shut off the back burner and set up the two side burners for indirect cooking on medium. Put a drip pan here with a little bit of water so the bacon doesn't start a big fire. Threw in one more mojo brick cube to add a little bit of smoke. I'm going to shut the lid, check on it in around 45 minutes. Bacon bullseye has been cooking for around 45 minutes now, wrapped in that bacon and sausage. Went around, checked everything with my thermopen, all the layers are up to temperature. So, now what we're going to do is fire up that back burner again, get this bacon all nice and crispy, and then give it a good coating of Ted Reader's Apple Brown Betty sauce. Now time to give it a good coating of sauce. I love this stuff, it smells so good already. Let's go around, brush it on, and let her sit for another 10 to 15 minutes or so, and then she's all done. All done and just off the grill. Now we'll take the spit out, cut it down the middle, see how it looks. Now the moment of truth. Let's cut it right down the middle, see how it looks. Still kept the string on, hold it together. When we get to that point, we'll cut it off. Cut like butter. Let's open it up, take a peek. Check it out. Bacon bullseye. Pew! Bacon bullseye, just off the grill and looking great. It's easy to do, barbecue food for you, give it a try. Mmm. That's good.